today we are going to talk one of the very interesting mechanism of our immune system that is the killing mechanism uh, by cytotoxic T cells that is TC cells and NK cells or natural killer cells now we have spoken about these cells in the very first video that is immune system if you want you can just click on the uh, link on the screen where uh, the cytotoxic T cells and NK cells come into picture in very specific case in the body and that is when our own cell become the zombie cell that means our own cells which has turned against us now that can happen only in two conditions either the cell has been virally infected or the cell has become cancerous now in both the condition what happens is virally infected cells you just can't help it it is being infected with virus so it becomes like a factory that is pumping out more and more viruses and we know this once the virus is inside it is going to use the host cell uh, machinery to produce its parts so our own cell is going to produce more and more viruses so this cell needs to be cleared out similarly with the cancer cell our own cell which gets you know transformed to cancer cell does not know where to stop the growth so such cell also needs to be eliminated from the body in such cases very specific mechanism by our immune system that is the killing mechanism by nk cells and tc cells come into picture that is what we are going to see in this video now what happens is uh, in our body all the nucleated cell we just spoke about it in the last video all the nucleated cells would have uh, mhc class 1 now when a cell has turned into cancerous cell what happens is the mhc class 1 expression on the surface either it gets reduced or uh, other surface proteins you know other surface uh, proteins which are present on the membrane their profile gets changed that means there will be a difference in the uh, expressed protein on the surface of the cell compared to that of a normal cell now LK cells can recognize this very well this is one mechanism there is one more mechanism where the uh, NK cells can recognize such cells when they are bound with antibodies you know such antigens are bound with antibody because NK cells have a receptor that can recognize the FC region of the antibody so that is one more way now what happens in case of TC cell this of cells which are infected what they will do is uh, it will take part of an antigen and it will display it on the surface on MHC1 so TC cells can recognize this MHC1 and antigen complex and will understand that this cell is been infected and this cell has to be killed so this is how TC cell is going to recognize the infected cell now whether it is NK cell or TC cell as I said the mechanism is similar so, so now we will see once NK cells and TC cells recognizes such infected or tumor cells how they are going to kill them so now whether it's a TC cell or NK cell they contain specific granules and these granules have two important uh, molecules that we need to know about one is perforin perforin is a pore forming protein it is present as a monomer and granzyme second one is granzyme granzyme is a serine protein so now we will see once these cells get activated what happens so now when these cells recognizes cancer or virally infected cell there will be exocytosis of these vesicles now this exocytosis happens when the cells get activated it is you know after the recognition and binding between these two cells so once the exocytosis of these molecules happen these granules happen first the perforin which is a pore forming protein what it does is it is going to insert itself in the target cell membrane and as I said they are monomers so it is going to assemble itself on the target cell membrane in a cylindrical fashion so that a pore on the surface is formed now what is the purpose of this pore formation through this pore now this granzymes would enter the target cell and as I said granzymes are serine proteases that is going to activate the caspase cascade in the target cell and once the caspase is uh, activated we know it is going to lead to apoptosis of the cell so as a result the target cell will be killed so essentially this is what is happening the TC cell or NK cell 
once it recognizes the cancer cell or virally infected cell it is going to be activated as a result the exocytosis of the granules will take place which contains the monomer perforin perforin is a pore forming protein so it is going to insert itself in the target cell membrane and form a pore through this pore now granzymes will enter which is serine protease which is going to activate the caspases in the cell once the caspase cascade is uh, activated it is going to result in the apoptosis of the target cell so that's how cytotoxic t cells and nk cells play very important role in killing such cells so that's all for now uh, i hope this video was helpful do subscribe to the channel for new video every week and i'll see you next time until then keep learning